wrapped up day two. Cheers, Dan. Met up with my friends Will and Aaron here in Prague. Hey everyone, I just arrived in Nuremberg, Germany for another project with Puma and this is directly following up after my trip to Vancouver like two days ago so it's been a lot of flying and when I started this whole video journey like three years ago if you would have told me that I'd be in Europe right now shooting for a brand like Puma I probably wouldn't believe you. Uh, it's been a wild ride so far and I've got to admit I am kicking myself a little bit for not having documented more of that journey kind of behind the scenes so I want to put together a little bit of a, a vlog of this trip I've got three days of work here in Germany and then I'm gonna spend just a fun day over to Prague I'm gonna take a bus capture some of that so I just want to have some fun with it let's do it Not a super eventful day. Got some work done. Had a nap on the grass at the park. And uh, had some cappuccinos and some cakes at my favorite cafes here in Nuremberg. Uh, gonna go have some sushi with the squad tonight. And then uh, shooting starts tomorrow. So, gonna finish this run up. Day two in Germany, gonna go have some breakfast and coffee and then head to the studio. So I'm back in the hotel. We finished our first production day today. It was actually a pretty slow day for me. Uh, not a lot of shooting to do. So I did some editing on some projects that I'm finishing up from the last time I was here. And now I'm back at the hotel, uh, honestly just catching up on some work that I need to do for 365 separate from this trip. And that's kind of become the new reality is that even though I'm in Europe and I'd love to be out like getting food or drinks or seeing new places, it's like there's there's work to be done. Uh, we have four full-time members on the team, uh, plus me now. They were all working on separate projects today and things gotta get done. Right now I'm on the CRA website paying taxes. So it's not all uh, glamorous like it looks on Instagram to be totally frank, but I wouldn't have it any other way and I'm grateful to be doing work from here and I still will get to do lots of fun stuff while I'm here. So it's gonna be a way busier day tomorrow, lots of shooting, a lot more hectic. Hopefully the uh, jet lag subsides a little bit, but I'm sure it'll be fun, always is. It's about 9.30 p.m. right now and I finished up all of my work and realized that I hadn't eaten for like eight hours. So I'm going to grab a bite and probably a drink with a friend that I've made here. Um, one of the hardest things to do 
uh, in these videos is just to like talk in public and have the confidence to not feel silly doing something that looks so silly, like walking around. And I'm using my iPhone for this whole video, by the way, but I figure that there's probably no better place to practice this than in a city where nobody knows you. So uh, I'm feeling a little more confident doing it right now, but uh, it takes some getting used to for sure. I'm back at the hotel. It's past midnight now. Had a really fun night and I'm about to go to bed. And I just want to talk about something for a minute here, just candidly. So I went out tonight and I, I knew I should have gone to bed earlier, like I said, but I just figure I'm never going to be this young again. I'm never going to have a chance to be this young and to be in Europe and to be in this environment, working with other young creative people that I can go out with and learn from and learn about and just like share stories with and share all of this with. So I'm glad that I went out. I had a really nice uh, beer with a friend, some great chats. And uh, this is like, this is why I put in so much work over the past couple of years. It's, it's to have these experiences. So to come here and to focus like only on the work, I think would be kind of crazy. I mean, there's a balance to be struck. You have to do good work to keep getting the work, but you also want to eat good food, meet good people and uh, make good memories. So it's pretty cool to be here. Can I do a cappuccino, please? Thank you. Just wrapped up day two of production. How was today, Sally? <laughs> Happy birthday. Overall, a really great day. And at the end, we celebrated Sally's birthday. Sally is the first person who hired me to work for Puma. So I'm super grateful for her. And uh, tonight we're gonna go out for dinner to celebrate her birthday a little bit more. day went really well we wrapped up with some celebratory sushi and drinks lots of hugs and gonna get a good sleep tonight and then hopping on the bus to Prague tomorrow <laughs> Just got off the bus here in Prague, getting an Uber to the hotel, gonna clean up and then uh, go bomb around the city. I can't always look out I played football with Will in university, so he saw that I was here in town on Instagram. Hit me up. Here we are. Hit the gas one more time, and I'll break you. Up. 
So that's it. After I left my friends, Will and Aaron, I went to another bar with the goal of just meeting some new friends, something I always try in a new city. Met some girls from Belgium, chatted for a little bit, said our goodbyes. And I think now at like 1.30 in the morning, it's time to go back to the hotel. Have to be up at six to catch my flight home tomorrow. Suffer through that, but uh, it was a fun time in Prague. It was a fun time making this video. See you next time. Yes, one more time.